MixtapeRadio.net Yellow tape caution, wash his blood off with that leaf of 2000. Who wants some gunplay? Awesome. I'll call a spade a spade. Will the kings running the boss. Four rulers, two shooters, like before they traded Walker. Hit you when you tipple from the arc, like culture. With that T Mac rocket launcher, divide and conquer. Copper here's the same size, the head on Rihanna. I eat niggas alive, the lyrical Jeffrey Dahmer. The NFL on CBS starts today. What's up, Baltimore? I'm Joe Ravens, Fan Nation Week 2 pregame show. The Chargers, the Ravens, the Quantum Stadium, San Diego, Cali. Uh, it's afternoon, 4.15 p.m. Let's get right into the game. First of all, uh, it's been a fun week. You know, USC Phenom didn't trash talk me. We got a bet going on, but he didn't trash talk us. I'm surprised. We did have some trash talkers. Uh, be more never more the Ravens fan. Um, I did, and a couple other Ravens fans did. So I'm, I'm excited to see how this week's going to go. It's been a fun week. Uh, you know, tomorrow's going to be a good game, or today's going to be a good game. It's kind of early on late Saturday, early Sunday, so I consider it Sunday morning. It's like 11.56 or something like that. Yeah, 11.56 in the mo- afternoon, 11.56 p.m., you know? So it's going to be a good matchup. You know, don't expect this to be a blowout. You know, no 30, 40 points on the Ravens or the Chargers side. You know, uh, one of them is going to come with a, come away with the win, but we're going to have to wait and see who that is. It's going to be a real good matchup. I'll tell you, it's going to be a real good game. Uh, the TV blackout was lifted on San Diego. They sold enough tickets to get that off, so good. Southern California can see their asses getting whipped, hopefully, on Sunday. Let's get right into the game. You know, Todd Heat going to have a kind of an interesting day with safety Eric Weedle. You know, uh, the Raiders came in, or San Diego came into uh, to Oakland, uh, kind of played their best. You know, they came back that late fourth quarter comeback. But Zach Miller had a kind of a field day on their asses last week. They're tight end in Oakland. Uh, you know, Todd Heat's going to come in and try to exploit that. My concern is Eric Weedle going to be stepping up his game. So let's see how Todd Heat can handle that. Also, Jarrett Gaither handling... handling uh, middle linebacker Sean Merriman. This is going to be a good motherfucking matchup. Good motherfucker. Let's see if this motherfucker can keep can keep Merriman from getting to our quarterback. We don't need that. We don't need no sacks. Let's see if he can keep that. But you know what? You know, we don't need that. I mean, this six foot, three hundred fifty six pound man going to have to keep Sean Merriman off Joe Flacco for our passing game to be successful. Also, also Michael Orr. Uh, let's see how he performs. On Saturday or Sunday as well, about to say Saturday. Um, also watch out, you know, LT not playing, but but Sproles is, and this dude can run. This dude can fucking run. So it's up to our quarterback or up to our linebackers, pardon me, Ray Lewis, T. Suggs, uh, to defend the run game, keep them from getting points, keep them from getting yards, keep them from scoring yards and moving the chains downfield. Even with LT not playing, it's still something we gotta watch out for. You know, don't think oh LT ain't playing. You know, oh we're gonna run. They're, they're gonna they ain't gonna run all over us. No, 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 no. Sproles can run on anybody he feels like running on. It's our job, Mr. Suggs, Mr. Ray Lewis, and even if Torar is good and plays, I don't know if he's playing anymore. Uh, up to all these guys to defend the run game uh, as well. Also, Philip Rivers, man, Mr. Ray Lewis, Mr. T. Suggs. Uh, a couple of our middle linebackers got to get to him as fast as they can. He's like the third or fourth best quarterback right now in the NFL. Had some impressive numbers last year. Had some impressive numbers last week. 256 yards uh, last week against the Oakland Raiders. Uh, and he's quick to come back against games, if you notice that. you know, um, Our job is uh, stop the running game early. Force Mr. Phillip Rivers to throw. Uh, and key that lineup. Key that matchup on the line of scrimmage so that we can intercept the passes, deflect the passes, uh, maybe even force a couple sacks and a couple fumbles uh, on Mr. Rivers. But again, two guys you got to watch out for. Sean Merriman, you know, he's going to have to get after our quarterbacks. He's going to try to get after our running backs all day fucking long. Uh, watch out for a couple of their safeties, too. Also, their wide receivers, you know. Everybody thinks, you know, okay, you know, Gase ain't nobody. He ain't nobody big. Uh, man puts up some numbers last week. Didn't put up impressive numbers, but put up some numbers last week. And he can prove he can catch the ball in the end zone when it's needed. 
Uh, so watch out for him uh, next week too, or this week too. Ed Reed uh, and Dominic Foxworth are gonna have to cover his ass like damn close, like damn close. Um, so I have to wait and see how that works out. Um, <clears throat> Steve Hoska, step up your game a little bit, boy. You know we we want to see a little bit more of a, a good continuous making of action against you, man. We don't need no. Uh, <clears throat> we definitely don't need no missed field goals. Sam Cook, man, special teams, step the shit up. We don't need no block punts next week or this week as well. I don't know why I keep saying next week, but this week at all. Um, Mr. Allen, their wide receiver up there, emerging star out of San Diego. Watch out for him, too. I know he's going to be coming down the field trying to catch some passes from Mr. Phillip Rivers. So our job pretty much is stop the uh, running game early. You know they're going to try to run on us a lot. Uh, force them to throw. Set up the line game so that we can intercept the passes. Maybe, again, force a couple fumbles. Uh, maybe even a couple sacks on Mr. Rivers. Uh, I know Ray Lewis and Terrell Saul is looking forward to this. Um, you know, Sean Merriman made a comment uh, on Jared Gaither. Uh, he says he's looking forward to seeing him play. He's seen him play a little bit uh, at the UMC University of Maryland College Park. Um, so let's see how he works out against Sean Merriman on the field in San Diego. Uh, so, again, that's my pregame show. My prediction for this game, Baltimore uh, 24. San Diego, 21. That's how I think it's going to come to. Maybe even a little bit more than that. Maybe even 23. Could get something like that. We don't know. But 21, 24 is my prediction. Maybe 20, 24 is my prediction. Uh, 40, San Diego Chargers and Baltimore Ravens game. Um, expect to be a lot of noise. That fucking stadium is noisy. Uh, the Chargers are a very good home game opponent. Uh, they're the kind of team that wants to fight for home wins. I think all together they're 20 and 4 at home. Um... So watch out for them. Watch out for them. Watch out for the crowd. You might think, you know, watch out for Merriman. You know, watch out for Eric. You know, no, no, no. Watch out for the crowd. Watch out for the noise. Uh, they actually had some noise simulation like they do when the Steelers come to town or uh, they go to town to the Steelers uh, where they simulate a lot of crowd noise to get the Ravens kind of ready for what it's going to be like uh, on the road versus San Diego, which I think was a couple years back when we played them, uh, which, is, again, is different. We got a new D-line, no, new O-line. New quarterback, Joe Flacco, your goal this day, your goal today is to throw and run as much as you can. Don't throw too much. Don't force passes down the field when it's not necessary. Run the ball when necessary. When the uh, space opens up, throw, get a Derek Mason, maybe a Kelly Washington, uh, maybe touchdown. Let's see how Ray Rice you know, works. I don't expect Rice or uh, McGahee to have impressive yards. Todd Heap. Other hand, I think he's going to have a good day tomorrow uh, against or today, whatever you want to call it, against San Diego. I'm Joe. Pre-game show, Ravens 24, San Diego Chargers number 20 or 21. Uh, I don't have many on mine yet. I'll check you out later. Post-game show coming up after the game. Enjoy it.